What do you think about the so what what you think about the wide right receivers? That that's still the same, pretty much. They only lost one. I'm out here um, getting cooked. I'm out here getting cooked so bad, man. Coach threw me off on the loop, man. I thought I was about to come in here and ask different questions. He got me checking my temperature right now. What what is it reading right now? What is it reading, y'all? The, the temperature. Um, okay. Hey, hey, that oven been set to 450 degrees for the past hour. It was warming up when you came here. Oh my God! It's uh, it's yeah. <laughs> I'm here getting cooked. You gotta check the meat and see if I'm done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 450 degrees. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Go so, ahead, man. So the wide receiver room, uh, I have to be honest with you, that is their strong suit. Um, I like Lejante Wester. I do. I think he he brings some experience. He brings some pizzazz. He brings some splash. Yeah. Um, I think he's a playmaker. Uh, that that a turn around and make some good plays. Yeah, for Colo- for Colorado. Um, you know, now I'm not gonna speak on NFL. I don't know. It's hard to say where guys are gonna go. You could kind of guess that, but like what round and all that. I don't get into that, but we'll definitely talk about that here in a second. Um, but I guess my question, well, to your your question about receivers is. I think you do have some good guys. I don't know why Omarion Miller did not play after the. I was actually at the USC game and watched him cook, and he didn't play no more. Like I'm gonna when I say didn't play, meaning he got one catch here. He got that. Like it's like he came in, he did that, and it's almost like he's an afterthought now. Um, they got too many guys, too many yeah. guys over there. How are you gonna get them all in the play? But I'm, I mean, look. To be the the be try to be fair with this. Um <laughs> Donnie C, bring your raggedy behind up here. I bet it won't be staged. How about that, Donnie C? She said that you had the what stage of what? Yeah. Nah, he ain't staged no fake debate. Like I already man. No, I, we we called up, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a... Uh, I didn't think it was going to turn out like that. You know what I mean? I thought it was, I thought I was, I thought Coach Hayes was going to be the fan today. And I thought I was going to be asking the hard question to Coach Hayes. I thought he was supposed to be the CU fan today. I thought that's how that was going to work out, but it didn't because I'm not one of the fans who's going, who thinks in the dream state of mind. If you know, but we, but I didn't realize that. But once you said that, we, I'm just now, at, now I'm asking just questions about the state of the program. Right, like I said, there are a lot of things. There are a lot of things that we agree with, and and that's fine. But like I said, I just want to, you know, it is what it is. They wanted somebody to come in here and argue with you. That's what they want. You know, people like negativity, coach. People like negativity. They like when you negative. Well, it's a debate. I, I mean, it's a debate, right? Like you have topics, I have topics. That's why I say you 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 came to the restaurant. I don't know what you want off the menu, so please cook and so say what you got to say, and I'll answer questions. And okay. so. I mean, you, you want to work with that. Coach. Yeah. What kind of players would you send to Colorado? You've been a coach before. Mm, I would definitely send a defensive back to Colorado. Other than that, I don't know uh, anybody else that I would I would like. If I had to target Colorado for anything else, um, I don't know if I would send them anywhere else because there's a lot of unproven. Doesn't mean it won't be good. But like when Kamani McClain went to Colorado and he flipped from Miami, mm-hmm. of course – you know, these folks in here, not all of them, but some of them, they know who they are. The cult members in the chat. If you're not a cult member, it doesn't affect you. If it bothers you, you're a cult member. But the reason I thought it was a good deal, because who else better to learn? Like when people say, oh, Coach Prime, he got a gold jacket. Why you want to play from him? F that. I'm playing for Coach Prime because he could teach me DB. Mm-hmm. Right? I don't, you know, so that's why, I, like when Kamani flipped, it made sense to me. If I was at Miami and I and I was a top dude and I wanted to be an old lineman, then I would go with crystal ball. It makes sense. If I'm a quarterback, Lincoln Riley, you know, like that's how I'm looking at it. So right. if I had to send somebody right now, I would send somebody uh, that plays maybe corner, defensive back, somewhere like that. Your defense. This then this this probably gonna be my last my last couple ones. Mm-hmm. How often are you using Travis Hunter? And what what side what side of the ball are you using him more heavy on? Offense or defense? I should say. Um, I'll use him on defense here in college. Here's what I'll say. I believe personally 
And I'm glad you brought up Travis Hunter because I want to ask you these some questions. I believe he does a great job at wide receiver. Um, and I'll explain that to you later, but uh, I would use him as I see fit. If I have a need, if I have a package, like when it comes to wide receiver, whatever the case may be, I could definitely use him, but I don't have to run him out like I did, like, like they did last year. He don't have to play. If, he don't have to play 80% of the snaps, both sides of the ball. Like he's a human being, bro. You know what I mean? I get it. Just because you can don't mean you should, right? Can you go out here and do these things? Yeah. But, dog, this is a wear and tear sport, right? And right. this whole thing, he's put on 15 pounds. Bro, come on, man. Like, I'm not saying he didn't put on 15, but your body is your body. Bro, and these boys hitting, they come and you twist up, you dinged up. I get it. I understand. We want to make this, this $6 million man out of this cat. Yeah. But at the end of the day, come on, bro. You don't have to run that dude ragged like that, man. I think he's better. Me, I think he's a, I think he's a better receiver. That's, that's what I me. Saw. I think. I think he, that's where he needs to be used at the most. That's where he's most. Uh, think he has the best shot of getting drafted there. I'm not saying he can't play corner because he's a great athlete. He's a great athlete. He is. He can play both sides of the ball. But I think he's a better receiver than he is corner. Uh, I had plenty of debates with this <laughs> with my co-host. We talked about it plenty of times, broke it down, looked at it, and he actually is a better receiver than he is a cornerback. And he's he should be used there more. I think they should fall back uh, at putting him on defense as much, and that's where he should be getting a breather. So in that case, if you ain't got Travis Hunter at cornerback, who you throwing at cornerback off of this team? Yeah, that's. I mean, that's the question, right? I do. I do think he needs to play. It's football, so I get it. I totally understand that. Uh, but when I look at him overall, I just, I personally think um, he's a better receiver as well. 